Yeah, and we're gonna explain you uh, the project that we did along this term. And it's called The Heal. The Heal is a commerce business that specializes in providing information and selling high quality yoga mats and besides some other articles to improve mental health. The company also offers valuable insights on how to engage in a healthy activity besides yoga and our mission is to empower individuals to improve their physical health and mental health too. So forward in the video, we're gonna explain what we did and everything on the deal. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Manuel. I'm gonna explain you the implementation plan, which comprises all the different stages and activities that we went through in order to be ready and prepared to the, our kickoff and launching the, uh, the heel that is uh, our business model and brand into the market. So, well, uh, for purpose of this presentation, uh, I'm uh, using this project scheduling software uh, and well, I'm gonna explain our timeline project using this this platform and um, you know like I think that it's going to be easier uh, to visualize for all of you. Well, uh, before diving into each of the different activities and uh, more details, uh, I'm just going to highlight a couple of points that are essential to understand in a better way our project. The first one, uh, the project length is nine weeks. Uh, so all those activities before the kickoff uh, took us nine weeks. Uh, we established also same primary milestones along the project. That the first one is concept development, uh, second one run work, the third one social and digital strategy, production, the other stage, uh, metrics, the kickoff or the uh, brand launching and monitoring. Well, let's go to the first one. Uh, you know, we, we don't have uh, too much time, so it's, our time is very limited. So I'm gonna try to be very concise uh, to cover all the different milestones. The first one, concept development. Um, as we can see, comprises two main activities, developing business model canvas and uh, the definition of the value proposition canvas. So the third thing was responsible for that and the progress uh, is 100%. It means that both activities are done uh, starting on 16 of January and ending 27 of January. So as we can see, uh, the dependencies are all those uh, red lines. So these two activities are vital and crucial uh, because you know, like, it depends um, and support the rest of the activities. So the second stage, run work. Uh, the length of this milestone was uh, five weeks, comprised a lot of crucial different activities from defining the content of our platform, uh, what type of digital platform we wanted, what would be like the most convenient for our business model, choosing web developer uh, partner, even though we have like an internal web developer team, but we consider that as a, um, a starting business model, it's important always to rely on someone else who has a vast expert is on developing um, digital platforms. So for that reason, we decided to do that and we established checkpoint sessions to work hand by hand with, with them and, you, and just to make sure that every element and that we designed in our business model uh, is uh, uh, executing or is executing properly during the during this stage. So the next one, social and, and, and digital strategy. Uh, uh, comprises a lot of different, a lot of different activities, uh, starting from defining the, our social media strategy, uh, leading by the marketing team, uh, the SEO plan, uh, defining and setting up those parameters. The same with the PPC plan, defining and setting up those parameters, just to get that desirability in the um, organic uh, search engines. So it's, it's vital for our business to establish this these metrics and parameters. And then the execution social media campaign, as we can see, let me move, let's move. As we can see, this one you know, like, doesn't have like end because it will continue along our operation, so along of the year. So next, next let's move uh, to the next milestone that is production. This stage comprises activities from designing product lines to testing uh, the products. So uh, this last activity, as we can see, continue production. Uh, doesn't have as well like ending date. It will continue uh, along the business operations. For that reason also, um, we just, uh, establish like 25 percent of progress because it started before the kickoff but you know it will continue so there are lots of plenty of room to to work on that um, on that activity let's go to metrics master uh, different uh, activities approval to case metrics and dashboard uh, establishing financial projections and the final approval so uh, it starts this milestone started on uh, 31st of january and ends 24th of february the kickoff, well, the moment of truth, that is the brand uh, launch stage, so that compromised the official presentation. Uh, let's, let's see um, that we are now uh, 13 of March. So basically, official presentation and launching year store uh, has the same date, the starting date. So, uh, and then the final one, monitoring. Um, this, this milestone um, has a different variables that are crucial for our business performance and will help us to adjust any situation uh, or parameter in order to continue aligned with the business uh, goals. So I hope uh, having this glance at our project timeline helps you to understand better uh, our project uh, structure. And now I'm gonna hand over to my colleague who is gonna explain the next point. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to present about the targeting the right audience through effective segmentation plan. The importance of targeting the right audience. The Heal is a wellness brand that offers high quality yoga mares and accessories designed to enhance the practice and overall experience of yoga enthusiasts. With the increased popularity of wellness practice such as yoga, and it's important for the Heal to effectively target its audience to position its offering effectively and grow its customer base. 
Segmentation is benefit. Segmentation is a process of dividing a large market into smaller groups of individuals with similar characteristics, needs, and preference. By segmenting potential customer, the Hill can tailor its marketing message and offering to better meet the specific needs and interests of each group. This allows the brand to effectively target its audience, improve customer satisfaction, and drive sales. Potential segments. The Hill, a wellness company, can effectively target its audience by segmenting potential customer into different groups based on their characteristics. This segment includes ego interests, fitness interests, health conscious individual, and busy professional. Ego interests may be interested in high quality yoga mats and accessories to enhance their practice, while fitness interests may want to explore new ways to improve their physical and mental health. Health conscious individuals are mindful of their overall well being and may seek products and resources to achieve their wellness goal and busy professional may be interested in quick and effective way to reduce stress and improve their mental health that can be integrated into their daily routine. By, under by understanding the needs and interests of each segment, the Heal can tailor its offering to better serve its customer and improve their overall well-being. We, are, we know now that yoga and meditation are uh, growing and they are very popular now. So we are using this to we are using this uh, medium to push the Heal because this is like most of the practices people are engaging in the regulatory process of healing. So we'll be making use of the social media trends, we'll be making use of the we'll make use of the popular trends out there. For the keyword report, when it comes to the keyword, it's important for us to keep in mind that yoga and meditation are, inter are connected. So we need to allow people to be able to search for keywords that are related. So we've been able to come uh, bring together different keywords so we can use them to push our, our business. For so analysis, so we have strengths, and some of the strengths are high quality products, professional customer service, established with a good reputation. Then some of our the weaknesses which we may have is limited resources, lack of vis visibility in certain markets, limited access to new technology, low brand awareness among potential customers. All these are weaknesses which could affect the business. The opportunities that we have in our business is growing demand for yoga and meditation because yoga and meditation is now on the high demand, increasing pop popularity of online yoga and medication classes, growing interest in mindfulness and well-being, growing about people who are looking for ways to relax and reduce stress. The strengths are growing competition from other brands because people, everyone, uh, the trend of yoga and meditation is now on the high rise, so that's the big trend from because it could lead to uh, new competition. Changes in consumer preferences, change in the economy, potential legal issues related to health and safety standards. For our value proposition, we've been able to create value from our brand by providing things such as accessibility, convenience, support, expertise, community, and holistic approach. All these are the value which we are giving to our customers from our business, because we want to give them easy access, we want them to be convenient. We want them to have the support they need 24-7. We also make sure that our team are filled with expertise and we want to create a community and we also make it a holistic approach. It's strategy, like, yes, any questions? What, why, how, where, when, who? Like, what should be done? Uh, create content like blogs and why to spend more awareness with this brand and ensure that you will give the best quality to that and also ensure you will get all the top in search engines. How to create unique content, different ways, apply different strategies, where on social media platforms, website, or LinkedIn articles, or any platform that you have. When uh, very frequently like, after one or two divided this KPI and metrics in two th three terms, and so our objectives are divided. Uh, we have the short term, one to three months, medium term to three to six months, and long term nine to twelve months. Well, the main KPIs that we have uh, considered for the for measure of the success of our business is the website traffic, the conversion rate, the average number of order value, customer acquisition cost, customer lifetime value, customer churn rate, and abandoned return rate, market customer rate, and customer satisfaction and rate mark for marketing campaign. Uh, well, for website for website traffic, we expect that uh, have like a low low growth in the first three months, as you know, it's a new uh, a new business, a new web page, so we expect to have like low like, between ten to twenty percent. That that's our goal in the first three months. Then in the middle of time, we expect like the web web page, web page mix like it's gains popularity, so we are trying to get like uh, thirty percent of web traffic increase for six months. And uh, then in the long term, we we we, we will try to maintain a fifty percent of growth in web web traffic. Um, when uh, speaking about conversion rate, we are going to speak. We are going to try in the first three months to have uh, three, uh, two to three percent for growth and two to five percent for subscriptions. Um, then, uh, for the medium term, they decide we have more popularity, so we are we expect that our products, uh, we are expecting uh, to increase the 
the conversion rates for our clothes and, and give our, our conversion rate for subscription. And then in the long term, the, the website and the shop will have more popularity, so people will trust more in our products. So we, we will try to have uh, between a 5% to a 10% uh, for products and 2 to 5% for subscription. Um, the, the average over the value we expect that uh, each customer in, uh, purchase in the shops in the shop like between 50 to 1 100 dollars in products and the subscriptions value will be uh, 20 dollars then we have uh, the customer acquisition cost uh, as i said earlier uh, the, the first month will be more expensive to reach the customer to the new customer so it will be as a website, um, we're going to target our customers uh, by different social media. One of those uh, channels is Pinterest and some other sources where we can just like get people involved in our blogs. So as you can see right here, we created a few blogs for the website. Um, these are based on like trending topics and uh, that can just like pull the people who are interested on it to the website directly. So we have this blog section right here. We also have three other sections. Uh, one is about us, where we talk about our background a little bit. Uh, we also have home and products. So now I'm gonna show you guys um, our home section. So our home section is really like easy to go through. Uh, it's just like a big picture that we have here because let's remember that our main product is yoga mats. But besides that, we also have uh, some other different products. As you can see, once you put the, the mouse on the picture, it changes. So it makes it more dynamic for the customer. So we have these three major products and we thought about these products as, as a main uh, purpose for the store because they are like easy to understand. It's really easy to give to anyone and easy to carry. So the package uh, is less, it will be uh, simpler. And yes, that's why we choose these products. So now uh, here is a brief description of the team. And we also have this section where you can send an email to us if you have any like personal, more uh, defined questions. And if we go to products right now, I'm just gonna click on it. Um, and we have these products right here. We just have three different products. Let's see, we are interested on the yoga mat. So if we go ahead and click it, we also did uh, a description right here. Um, we have this description right here. We also have the shipping info to add it. And we are still on the process of uh, getting the website better, but this is really what is all about. We have an SKU, which is the ID for the number. In case we get like an order, then we can identify what product is of the ones that we are showing. We had these images where we can like replicate later on with the actual product, product. but this will be uh, the yoga mat. It comes in different colors. We also had like two different colors right here. In the quantity, you can put like more than one for sure. And if you add it to the card, uh, then you can see right here another display where we showed you the total for three yoga mats in this case if you press two then it will change automatically uh, so you can see right now so this is our website so far and yeah that's that's pretty much uh, what is the website about uh so yes this is a website so far uh we are really excited about keep going on this project so thank you for so much for listening everyone and if you have any questions we will be happy to answer that for you thank you guys